Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Denver Broncos as it concerns the NFL draft of 2021 that's right the nfl draft is finally arrived and it's one of my favorite uh, events of the year when it comes to being an nfl fan especially for my denver broncos as you all know this is a lakers uh channel but 10 15 percent of my content is dedicated to the denver broncos and uh, you don't really see me uh, uploading a lot of Denver Broncos content because there's already some great uh, channels out there and some great reporters when it comes to you know bringing out the uh, the news update speculations about the Denver Broncos like Mile High Huddle and you know uh, the Orange Page who uh, I have great respect for when it comes to their content because uh, they do bring out the good content and good comparisons about the. Uh, the uh, the situation with the uh, Denver Broncos and uh, their roster and how you know they just overall bring up the great reporting of those particular uh, you know updates speculations about the Denver Broncos and I leave it to them but uh, I like to bring my input <laughs> at times when it comes to the Denver Broncos so uh, when it comes to the selection the late the Denver Broncos have the ninth overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. And it's a really good selection when it comes to who they could potentially select. Uh, they have a lot of options in front of them when it came to this particular uh, draft selection. They could have drafted a quarterback. They could have drafted a CB, which I'll get to that particular uh, selection. And then you have a linebacker. A linebacker who could potentially be a sort of replacement for Von Miller in the future. But, you know, I have to say when it came to this selection, I have to say this was a good pick. A conservative type of pick by the Denver Broncos. As of right now, let me put my <laughs> announcement here. When, with the ninth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select... Patrick Sertan, the second, the CB out of Alabama. Guys, I have to say this is a good selection by the Denver Broncos. At first, I went on social social media and I gave my opinions about the ninth overall pick because I saw some mock drafts and you know saw uh, uh, Mel's uh, from ESPN's uh, mock draft selection. And I saw that he put Justin Fields in the ninth overall selection for the Denver Broncos. At one point, I saw uh, Micah Parsons uh, being selected in the ninth overall pick in the mock drafts at one point for the Denver Broncos. And then I saw a couple of times Patrick Sertan, the second, being uh, you know selected with the ninth overall pick. He was in the conversation being selected with the uh, Cowboys at the number 10th position. But, you know, either way, it was a good selection by the Denver Broncos, picking a CB uh, for in the future for the Denver Broncos in Patrick Sertan the second. His father was a former NFL player, Patrick Sertan. I forgot what team he played for, but I know he was an NFL uh, player. Uh, he's well respected in the uh, as a football player. Uh, and I have to say, guys, I'm repeating myself, is a good selection. A conservative selection by the Denver Broncos by picking a CB. It's basically a security for the for the Denver Broncos uh, to select this particular player for the future. Because you have a temporarily CB position when it comes to who they went after in the free agency market uh, when it came to uh, signing, I believe... Uh, Ronald Darby at the CB position who played for uh, the Philadelphia Eagles for a couple of years. And, uh, you know, he's just a temporal, temporal um, signee when it came to, uh, so, you know, signing him in the uh, offseason free agency. And uh, Patrick Sertan, you know, SEC Defensive Player of the Year, Two-time champion with uh, the with Alabama, you know Nick Saban, a great head coach, well respected 
in the football world and the NFL world as well. So, uh, you know, he just has a lot of traits when it comes to, you know, having that sort of um, respect in a sense uh, that, you know, you have somebody in the Denver Broncos selecting somebody from his, uh, you know, his, uh, his field of uh, expertise in Patrick Sertan, you know, it just shows that the Denver Broncos have a lot of respect for uh, Alabama's, um, you know, uh, program, and they they did so by drafting a couple uh, last year with uh, Jerry Judy. So, you know, getting another uh, product from them uh, in Patrick Sertan, uh, the second, you know, it just shows you that the Denver Broncos have a lot of respect for. Uh, Nick Saban. So, uh, you know, when it comes all down to it, guys, you know, this is a good selection. Good selection by the Denver Broncos, right? Uh, but, you know, in the sense, I have a bit of a, also an opinion wise when it came to, you know, what if the Denver Broncos picked, you know, like a Justin Fields, you know, uh, if they would have uh, selected him, you know, they could have found a future, uh, you know, quarterback, a franchise quarterback in Justin Fields. But, you know, it just wasn't the case. And, uh, you know, I guess the Denver Broncos have a lot of faith in Drew Locke. And, you know, with them also yesterday trading for uh, Terry Bridgewater, you know, with the uh, Carolina Panthers, it shows you that there's going to be some uh, competitiveness for that particular position. And uh, I'm going to put this out there right now. There has been some rumors when it came to Aaron Rodgers wanting out with the Green Bay Packers. Uh, at first, I did go on social media and gave you guys my opinions about uh, Aaron Rodgers going to the Denver Broncos as, the, as his uh, destination. And he even mentioned that Denver Broncos is part of his destination if he is going to get traded. Uh, but at first, I thought about it and I said, you know what? You know, money-wise, it's going to be very hard for the Denver Broncos to make this type of trade. I mean, you have to include, like, draft picks. You have to include possibly Drew Locke in the trade and maybe add on a couple of players to get the MVP of the NFL in Aaron Rodgers. So uh, that's why I thought that the Denver Broncos would have probably selected uh, Justin Fields with the ninth overall pick, but it wasn't the case. And then I mentioned, you know, Michael Parsons. You know, uh, I believe he's from uh, uh, Penn State. Uh, possibly, I might be mistaken, but I think he is. Um, he was drawn to a comparison of Von Miller, who we have already on the uh, on the roster. Who, you know, Super Bowl MVP, a sack machine that he is. You know, a future Hall of Famer. Guarantee you guys, you know, he's going to be at the Denver Broncos Ring of Fame. So, you know, he just... The future, uh, you know, Hall of Famer in Von Miller. Having that sort of uh, replacement in Micah Parsons. You know, it just shows you that I was also thinking about the Broncos' future as well. But the Denver Broncos was also looking at a future CB of the franchise and Patrick Sertan the second as well so you know either way if the Broncos would have selected you know Micah Parsons Justin Fields or Patrick Sertan you know I would have been all right with any of these selections and the Denver Broncos did so by selecting Patrick Sertan the CB out of Alabama State sorry Alabama I, I'm not sure if it is Alabama State but I might be wrong. Forgive me. <laughs> I don't know. But it's Alabama. So, uh, you know, it's just a good selection. And uh, I got a notification uh, before making this video. And that was that uh, Patrick Sertan draws into comparisons of a former Bronco. No, it's not Champ Bailey. <laughs> He's a former champion with the Denver Broncos. And that is Hakeem Talib. Now, guys, we witnessed well, how he plays throughout his career, and especially when it came to the, with the Denver Broncos, picking up uh, pick sixes and uh, you know a 
interception machine type of CB. Drawing that comparison with Patrick Sertan tells you that he's going to be an elite CB in the NFL. And I just love that sort of comparison. I'm really glad I saw that notification. It was from Bleacher Report. Drawing the comparisons of Tlaib to Patrick Sertan, the second. Uh, that's a good compliment and a good comparison when it comes to his uh, resume with Alabama. I mean, two-time champion. Uh, SEC Defensive Player of the Year. I mean, he has a good resume under his belt. It just shows you that the Denver Broncos really did their homework and they want to pick someone that will be a potential Hall of Famer in the making. I mean, I'm just putting it out there. I'm not trying to say that he is, but he is potentially could be a Hall of Famer in the making. You know, if he has a great uh, NFL season, uh, NFL uh, career, with the Denver Broncos, it just shows you that he has a potential, and um, and uh, I just really can't wait to see that uh, be in effect when it comes to his uh, uh, efforts uh, in the NFL, especially with the Denver Broncos moving forward, because you know he is going to have uh, a great head coach, uh, a good defensive coach in uh, Vic Vangio, who is a defensive-minded coach. Uh, and you know he does coach at times the defensive line, so you guarantee I can guarantee you that Vic Vangio is going to use, you know Patrick Patrick Sertan at any given moment uh, in the in next season. So, um, but so we just have to see what he is going to be made of uh, when it comes all said and done. And uh, I just really can't wait to see what he is made of. I mean. You know, it's just going to be a really fun season to watch to see Patrick Sertan in a Denver Broncos uniform, and I just really can't wait to see that out of him. And uh, and guys, uh, when it comes to the rest of the picks selections for the Denver Broncos, uh, I'm going to give you guys my results, uh, a final results video of the Denver Broncos in my next video. Uh, look forward to that, guys. Uh, I usually do that when it comes to Denver con Denver Bronco content on my YouTube channel, and uh, now with uh, uh, the uh, the podcast ZSPN podcast. So I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about it in the uh, in my next video uh, as a result of all of the selections of the Denver Broncos because they they have I believe a second rounder or third round fourth. Fifth, I, I believe they have a fifth. I might be mistaken because they did trade the one of the picks for uh, uh, Terry Bridgewater. So uh, I, here's the selections. If you're watching this video, if you're watching it uh, on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, here's the selections for the Denver Broncos. Uh, obviously, they had a ninth overall pick. I know they have a second, so they could potentially go after a, a linebacker. That's uh, probably in the works, possibly. Or they could uh, go for a quarterback. You never know who still remains uh, in the uh, in the second round. So, you know, there's a lot of selections. That's a basic need for the Denver Broncos um, when it comes to improving their roster. So, look forward to that, guys. And uh, hey, uh, my reaction results of the NFL draft for the Denver Broncos uh, in the next video. So uh, look forward to that, guys. Um, I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, when it's all said and done, guys, I really want to know your thoughts about the Broncos selection at the ninth overall pick in the 2021 NFL draft by selecting uh, Patrick uh, Sertan the second. Um, do you think it was a smart move by the Denver Broncos? Do you think it was a just an obvious conservative move? Or do you think maybe the Broncos should have selected a quarterback? Maybe a, a Justin Fields. Or maybe they should have selected, uh, you know, Micah Parsons. I mean, there's a lot of uh, scenarios where the Denver Broncos could have, uh, you know, picked that number ninth pick uh, overall. 
by these uh, particular players. But Patrick Sertan is one of those lists of selections that the Broncos were interested in as well. So I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed at all. And I be truly believe that Patrick Sertan has a bright future ahead of him uh, with the Denver Broncos and a potential Hall of Fame career. I mean, he has a potential uh, resume ahead of him, you know, being, uh, you know, in Alabama, being coached by one of the greatest uh, coaches, and that is uh, Nick Saban. So, uh, and, you know, just having a relationship also already there in Denver in, uh, you know, Jerry Judy, you know, just plays, uh, you know, huge wonders of how this guy would develop a good relationship with the roster uh, with the Denver Broncos there. So uh, look forward to that, guys. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. And uh, potentially the next video will be another Lakers video. Uh, but I will give you my reaction of the NFL uh, draft for the Denver Broncos uh, results of uh, the selections in the next video. So uh, you'll probably hear me mention Sertan again, but uh, uh, you know there's going to be more selections that I'll give my reaction to when it's all said and done in the next video and potential upload of uh, recording of uh, the podcast uh, in the next video as well. So uh, uh, look forward to that, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go, sorry, go Denver Broncos. Uh, take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there. And, uh, you know, great selection by the Denver Broncos uh, by selecting Patrick uh, Sertan. And, um, you know, welcome to the Mile High City, Patrick Sertan II. Go Broncos. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there.